Hello, it's Kevin here, and it's the weekend. Sometimes people don't know what to do with themselves at the weekend, so I thought we could come up with some ideas for you. Maybe a few little tasks or hobbies or fun things that you could fill the weekend with. Yes, watching videos can be fun and you can learn things as well. There's lots of videos with little animals like birds and squirrels on YouTube that you can watch. My suggestion is you, you set up the video maybe next to a bed or something or a nice sofa and you can watch the videos. Also, you should get a few bowls of treats out and put them just so if people wanted some treats while they watched the videos, they could have some. Uh, I hear Dreamies now do a range of, of cheese flavoured treats. Uh, that, that would be my choice. Here's a fun game you could play at the weekend. Uh, it's change the bed sheets. Every, everyone likes a, a clean sheet on the bed. And, and you know what those bed sheets are like? They do tend to attract uh, fluff a lot. So, so why not change the bed sheets, get some nice fresh laundry out uh, and change the bed sheets. Um, my advice is to do this about three times a day. Um, I'm sure you can turn it into a fun game. Um, but it, if there's a cat sleeping on the bed, don't change it. Wait, wait until the cat's ready to, to get up. Why not visit your local pet shop? Uh, these are always fun places to go. There's lots to see. Uh, there's toys that you can see or buy. Uh, you can also uh, look at the different flavours of the treats that are available. And if you like collecting things, maybe buy one of each of the different flavours of treats uh, and bring them home. Uh, you know, treats shouldn't be stored in the house a, a long time, so they need to be eaten. But, but it's still nice to say to people, I've got the whole range. If you like doing DIY projects, why not build a little house in the garden? Maybe uh, for a cat or a dog. Uh, you can make it a uh, two level um, with some stairs going up. Uh, upstairs could be like a bedroom with blankets and cushions. Uh, downstairs could be like a small front room for where the cat or the dog could enjoy. Maybe if you could run some electricity out to the cat house, they could have their own television, a light and a fridge. This is a fun thing to do at the weekend. You can make small model animals. Some of you are thinking, I don't have anything in the house I can make a small model animal out of. But that's not true. If you search in your cupboards, you should be able to find some tins of tuna. If you haven't got any, you'll need to pop out and buy some. Now, some people don't know that tuna makes an excellent modelling clay. You can take it out of the tin, put it on the side, and then shape it into the shape of a small animal. Maybe an elephant or a monkey. Something fun, you decide. Uh, you can also use cat treats uh, to make the eyes and noses. Uh, when you're finished, uh, just put it on the table 
and so everyone can enjoy it. <laughs> Well, that's all my ideas. Uh, now I'll hand you over to Scampy to see if he's got any ideas for you this weekend. Uh, um, oh, 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 um, uh, um, oh, um, um, uh. Uh, oh, I, I know. Uh, why not get all your toy mouses and throw them in the water fountain? Right. Okay, right then. Mm. Well, that's all from us. Uh, we hope you enjoy our list and I hope you have a great weekend. Um, we'll see you soon.